What's going on, everybody? It is Hawk Live Gaming. That is Seahawks <laughs> linebacker KJ Wright. What is up? What is up? I am Paul Gallant. We're about to play a little FIFA 20. Let's do it. I can't believe there's 20 variants of this game out already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, we're at the side select screen. We're playing on an Xbox. I hear you're a PlayStation I'm guy. I'm a PlayStation guy, but there's no excuses. I can do it all. Wow. You're a bigger man than me because I would get really <laughs> mad. I'm more of an Xbox guy than I am a PlayStation yeah, yeah. guy. Okay. See, it just, it just feels different. This It just feels funny in my hand already. The controllers, man. The, the right, I, I love this setup, how they're like offset. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. what it is. Okay, so we go to classic match. Hopefully I remember how to play this. Seattle Sounders, shout out to the Sounders. Yeah. They want it, they want it, right? Yeah. They're, they're, and they're oh, they go play this Sunday. Yes. yes. They're playing on Sunday. They sold out the whole stadium. It's going to be a whole nice, lot of fun. Nice. Uh, so, uh, should I play as the Sounders? Because I know you're going to play, <laughs> you're going to play as Barcelona. Yeah, I'm going right? go, to yeah, go international. I'm gonna, okay. I'm going to go over. Okay, let's see. It sees a little bit. Should I play? Oh, should I play as an Australian team? How would that go? Probably do you, do very you, poorly. Do you watch soccer? I so I try to watch it as much as I can, and this is one of the tricky things. So I just moved here from the Central Time Zone. Now I'm on the West Coast. How do you get up so early to watch soccer? Because oh, now man. if you're watching the foreign soccer, man, you got to get up at the. Oh, crack you do got to get. You do got to get up early. But um, I, I watch the highlights when I can. You do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How 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 early do you typically get up every single day? Uh, I'm, I'm a 5:15. 5:15. I'm alone for 5:15 a.m. What's the What's the key to getting out of bed that early? Because I'm doing the morning show now with Danny O'Neill. Our yeah. show starts at seven. I'm like trying to get up at 4:30, but I keep pressing the snooze button. The key button. is if you love your job, you'll get up, and but, if you don't. But I love sleeping. <laughs> hey, I love my job, man. So I gotta wake up. All right, I'm gonna play. <laughs> I'm gonna play. You know what? I'm gonna play as Manchester City. How about that? All right. All right. I got. I got. Um. I got Barcelona. Okay. Well, hopefully, I don't get uh, too uh, destroyed. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, those uniforms look snazzy. Rolling with those? Yeah, I'm gonna roll with those. All right. All right. Well, let's get this thing started. What's What's the biggest trick to keeping the body hanging in there? Cold tub. Cold tub. Cold tub. Twice a week. How long? Ten minutes. Ten, Ten minutes? Ten minutes in the cold tub, and uh, it does magic for me. Cool. So. <laughs> what do you, What do you, What do you do afterwards? Because I imagine you get out, you're shivering. Oh, you cold afterwards? You just take a shower when you get done. Take a shower. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. But uh, that cold tub saves the legs, man. The cold tub. Well, see, I got I got to figure that out. So like. KJ Wright plays in the NFL. I play a little flag football, and right now I'm trying to. I'm tr my knees are not feeling very good this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played a little game yesterday. Um, okay, so you are. Is FIFA your favorite kind of sports game? It used to be. I used to play it all the time in college with my roommates. Mm -hmm. But um, pretty, I'm Madden. Madden. Okay. I'm Madden. Been playing Madden since the early early 90s. Is it weird being in the game now? No, I love it. You love it. Do you <laughs> control it. yourself when you play? No, I'm usually, I either control the free safety. I control, okay. I, I control the free safety most of the time. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, so I'm guessing during the days of Earl Thomas, you had a lot of fun yeah, with that yeah, side yeah. of it. That's awesome. Uh, I typically go for one of the defensive linemen. So if I were playing as you guys, I'd be playing a lot as Jadevian Clowney. Really? Yes. Oh, definitely. So I was covering Clowney with the Houston Texans for a while. And mm -hmm. uh, it was, he was a, such, a, such a force there, such a force here, too. Uh, it, I don't know how I'm talking to play at the same it's time. It's really difficult, isn't it? I don't know yeah, what yeah. I'm doing either. <laughs> um, so, okay, so Madden. What, what was your favorite version of Madden? Ooh, favorite version. I probably go when I was first on it. Okay. So Madden, what, 2011? Madden 11? 2011. <laughs> did, you, did you keep the game? No, no, oh, you gotta no. Keep, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, what were you originally rated? Probably in the low 70s, something like that. Something disrespectful. They always disrespect me. That's awful. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I, I remember the first time I was on, it was pretty cool. And you remember first thing on NCAA too? You remember those? Oh, games? dude. So I'm so excited about uh, what's what's going on now, where a pen, uh, potentially we could maybe see the return of, of the NCAA franchise. I heard it's coming back. Yeah. Are they gonna do it? I hope so. Uh, that was my favorite game. My favorite video game ever is uh, NCAA Football 2006. Uh, now who's? I, you know what, I, I don't know, I, I, think, uh, I think Desmond Howard was on the cover and that was the first year yeah. you could do run to, they could, you could do um, the Heisman race. Yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> I used to play as uh, UCLA with uh, Maurice Jones-Drew. Mm -hmm. They were, and they had Mercedes Lewis too. Yep, I remember my favorite was when Pat White was at West yeah. Virginia. Had Steve Slayton, I believe his name. It was a squad. And I think Noel Devine. Oh. Go! 
Ooh. See, you can you can talk and play yeah. very easily. <laughs> Look yeah. at you with the first goal of the game. Yeah. Okay, so the, yeah, and they had Noel Devine too. Yep. Did you ever watch Noel Devine's highlight uh, tape? Monster. Oh my gosh, that he's guy's scary. And he's so small too. Yeah. Who is the toughest running back that you've gone up against in your career? The toughest is uh, the running back from the Atlanta Falcons, the big guy with the big thighs. Uh, I'm going blank right Michael now. Michael Turner? Michael Turner. Michael Turner. Monster. What, what was most difficult about him, just like trying to bring him down? Cannot, I cannot bring him down to save my life. <laughs> really? I, I like bounce off of him. I try to wrap his legs up. I try to hit him high. The dude, the dude is pretty good. Uh, so power running backs are the, are the guys that, that maybe yeah. are more concerned Yeah, yeah I do good with the, with the small guys, mm -hmm. but um, that, he, he gave me some trouble. The 49ers have like a lot of running backs. There's Breda, there's Tevin Coleman, there's... Mm -hmm. uh, you got uh, Kyle Juszczyk coming back, the fullback. Oh, That's yeah. So what, what, when you're going up against a good fullback like that, what's the key to making sure that guy is not getting blocking you? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just with fullbacks, you just got to be physical with him. And um, he's a guy that they use a lot in the passing game and in the run game. Mm -hmm. And so you just got to set the tone early because gotcha. if you give those guys any confidence, they'll just try to attack you all game. Yeah. And so you just got to set the tone pretty early. Okay. Uh, and, and I'm guessing after this past week where, you know, the, the Bucks had some success defensively, like that's definitely something you guys want to get d done against Jimmy Garoppolo and company. What do you think mm -hmm. about Garoppolo? Garoppolo, he's good. He's good. It's, it's good to see him out there healthy, you know, having a whole season to, um, to prove himself. And he's doing a good job. He's, um, he's got to get the ball out really quick. He has a great offensive coordinator with uh, Shanahan. And so, um... Oh, come on. Is that a goal? <laughs> no, it's mine. Oh, you missed it. You missed it. Oh, come on. All right, we got a little corner here going on here. Uh, so, DK Metcalf mm -hmm. has been awesome this season, and yes. he played at is – there, is there a little rivalry between you two since he went to Ole Miss and you, you went to Mississippi State? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Not at all. I welcome, welcome the man with open arms, but the Egg Bowl is coming up. Yeah. Here soon. You guys have anything on the line? We putting some on the line. I don't know what it is, but um, both teams are really bad, so <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> um, the stakes won't be too high. Uh, so I've always wondered at Mississippi State why 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 so much cowbell. You haven't heard? I I've, I've never heard. I've honestly <laughs> I I never I never knew why. Yeah, yeah. So back in the day, I guess in the early 1900s, uh -huh. they were playing a football game, <laughs> and I guess a random cow had roamed onto the field. Oh gosh. And Mississippi State had won. And so you- So it's like a lucky cow? It's a lucky cow. And you got the cow and the cowbells. And so they've been having it ever since. They tried to ban it. Like, I guess it was, a, it was an advantage, but um, that, that's where it all stemmed from. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing right now, uh, just to be perfectly honest. You're about to miss. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when did they change the free kick yeah, to yeah. this? Um, so d does, does that mean it's, it's, it's against uh, Mississippi State tradition to ever have a stake? No. Nah. Oh, you guys are good nah, with nah, steak? Nah. Okay, <laughs> nah, okay, nah. that's good. What's your favorite food? Favorite food? I gotta go, um, I love all kinds of food. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti, okay. I love, I love fish, I love chicken. So I saw an interview you were doing with Michael Bumpus, and you were oh, talking yeah, about yeah. catfish. Catfish. Have you been to the South? Uh, I actually, I went to high school in Florida, and in St. Pete, Florida, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I know whenever we went fishing, we would always end up catching catfish, which yes. we did not want to catch. <laughs> yes, I, mean, I just, it never gets, so every time I go back home, that's the only request I got from my family. Catfish? Let's, let's make some good fish and I'll, I'll be happy. There you go. Do, do, you, do you put any sauce on it? Like, what, yeah, what, what's the key? Yeah, you put, you put coleslaw. Coleslaw. Okay. Hot sauce and ketchup. Ah! Yikes! This is this is not this is not looking so hot for me right now. Okay, so so catfish is what's the best restaurant in town? Like I'm new to town. I'm trying to figure out where. Out here? Yeah. 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 I've only been here for uh, five weeks. Have you been to Joey's yet? I have not been to Joey's. What kind of food is Joey's? Joey's got everything. It's good vibes. Are you single? Uh, I am single. Pretty waitresses. Ooh. I can't lie. Pretty waitresses. But isn't it, <laughs> is it isn't it a faux pas to hit on the waitresses? Is it a what? Isn't it is isn't that like a out out of bounds? Like if you're if you're. I mean, you just go to you just want to go and look. Okay. You may find a, a single girl there that may like you. Okay. So uh, Joey's is a good look. Okay, Joey's. They got Daniels. It's a little pricey. Okay, Daniels. Gotcha. Yeah, that's some good state. We got good vibes in there too. Doobie in there playing the piano. Ooh, nice. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of music? 
Man, I'm all over the place. All over the place? I'm all over the place. You gotta, what's the last song, if, if we were to check your Spotify or your iPhone right now, and please do not score. Yeah. That's a penalty. That's right, that's no penalty. That's, that's, that's weak. <laughs> that was definitely, definitely a slow legal no, slide tackle. This morning, I'll tell you what I've been listening to lately. What's that? I've listened to Queen a lot lately. Did you watch Bohemian Rhapsody? I watched it on the plane coming back from Atlanta. Great movie. Uh, Rami Malek was awesome as Freddie Mercury in that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this morning I was listening to um, Sade. Do you know who Sade is? I do not know. She's, she's amazing. Listen to, you got Apple Music, download Sade. Sade. Yes. You want to you sing? Do a I will not sing a word <laughs> of that. <laughs> but Sade's pretty amazing. Okay, Sade. Gonna check yeah. that out later. Okay, cool. Here uh, we go, here we go. Oh gosh. Here we go. This. I mean, that was just a great defensive play. That was, that was I don't, I don't know what to tell you. That was good defense. Please don't throw it to the other guy. There we go. Okay. All right, so we're at halftime. Uh, KJ scored the first goal of the match. There we go. I'm holding on by a thread. Uh, you've had plenty of opportunities thus far, and Damn. I'm gonna I'm gonna need to find a way to get back in this one. Let's go. So so I heard uh, you. Did you propose to your wife at the Boeing Museum? I did. You, are you really passionate about planes? No, not at all. Not at all. No. That's what I would assume. No, no, no. Okay, so what 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 inspired that? I saw so the thing was her her dad was in town. Her dad lives in Colombia. Gotcha. And, um, no, in South America. And so they was, they was coming into town, and he's a big playing guy. Okay. And so I was like, what can I do to make it seem like I want to get the family together, but yeah. not give it away? Yeah, yeah. And um, and so we went to the Boeing factory. Okay. And I, I know I know the um, I knew the uh, CEO at the time, and I was like, can we just do this? And he's like, oh, by all means. Okay. And so everything went smooth. That's awesome. She said yes, and they they did like the thing where they dropped down the Will You Marry Me on the side of the plane. Oh, that's sick. And so she saw it, and that's when she, that's when she knew. Is that, the, is that the most nervous before that that you've ever been in your life? I was actually good. She claimed that I was acting real weird that day. <laughs> I, I was like, there's no way, because I was, I was pretty smooth. There you go. But she claimed I was acting funny, so. Would you, would you ever fly a plane? Like, yeah. Would you have, uh, that's something my dad was really into, mm -hmm. and I am too scared. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did the uh, flight simulator. Okay. You know, and that thing feels, it feels real. But yeah, I, I would love to. Oh no. Ugh. Oh, that was a nice move. Ah! Yeah. God, I gotta I get, get the offense going here. This You're is, robbing me like that. This is, this is, I can't, you know, I feel like right now I'm. Uh. Yeah, get out of here, get out of here. Are you, are you a traveling man? You like to travel? I, I, I do. I mean, I've lived all over the place. Uh, I went to Croatia this summer. Where's, where's, was, it was really fun. I, 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 I got to say, like, one of the most impressive parts about that place, you know a lot of countries you go to and uh, people get mad when you don't speak the native language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People were so friendly. Just they were nice, like, pretty nice. Really nice, and, and and speak English with you, and it's a beautiful country and the best seafood I've ever had. Yeah, so good. Did you go when they had like the big boat festival where everybody was like sailing and riding on the boat? Well, there, yeah, so it's a thing called yeah Yacht Week. Which yeah, 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 is, yeah, 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 yeah. I went on that. It was a it was a good time. It's my second time on one of those. It was it was a lot of fun. What's yeah. what's the what's as far as vacations go? Where's the last really awesome place that you went to? Really last awesome place. Um, I went to Kenya again this summer. Awesome. Phenomenal place, just. Is that where Mount Kilimanjaro is? It's, tech, uh, it's out there, it's tan, I think it's technically Tanzania. in Tanzania, but gotcha. they border each other. Gotcha, okay. And so, and I'm actually going to um, Israel next year. Wow, that's yeah, really cool. a lot yeah, of yeah. history there. No, 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 get out, get out. What get out. is this? My goalie has played amazing, <laughs> not gonna lie. I, I wish I could take credit for it, but that is entirely the computer there. Um, and yeah. it's just fascinating hearing about just how crazy that war was, where they were all figuring out this new technology, right, right. Some mustard gas, yeah. gas masks. Guys were on horses at the same time. Yeah, yeah, crazy times. Yeah, luckily we're luckily we're not dealing with that right now. But um, yeah. anyway, on a on a brighter note, um, so what? Is, what your podcast? What what's the what have you been talking about on your podcast recently? Man, my podcast is called Topic of Discussion. It's with me. Uh, my friend Mike Morgan. Okay. And Ali, Ali the Guru. Okay. There we go. Two nil. <sighs> can, I, can I pull the goalie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and no. So pretty much we talk about everything. Okay. From relationships to. Okay. We talked about gun control. We talked about um, should athletes be paid? The college experience. We talk about it all. 
And so it's, it's really fun. We just did it this off season. Awesome. We're gonna pick it back up when the season ends. All right, cool. What, what's what's been the trickiest part of starting a podcast? The trickiest part of starting a podcast is I think with us we got to um, think of our topics way beforehand because sometimes we just be like, all right, we got a topic. Right. Let's go. But yeah, and then getting the guests in, I want to get some more guests in to come in and, and speak with us. And so we had some good guys come in. Bobby came in. The, oh, awesome. The twins came in. And um, so yeah, I just want to get more people in. Cool. We brought in a young lady to speak in, speak about relationships. So she we got oh, a nice. female's perspective. Does she have any, in, I mean, I, I know you're married now. Is there, yeah, is there yeah. any interesting advice that maybe uh, I, I should be taking into my own uh, life? Yes, yeah, I think with guys, guys just need to be more... What's the word I'm looking for? Authentic and real. Okay. Don't be be honest up front. Don't be lying to these young ladies. So tell here. them like right away that I'm a cat dad. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is this is turning into a body bag game. Okay. Three well, nil. Look, uh, clearly this is no rivalry. You're way better than me at FIFA. Come on, get it going. Get it. Get it. Get it. No, <sighs> not happening. This is this is terrible. This is terrible. Uh, is there anything different playing under the lights? And you guys have had a lot of success playing under the lights, Monday Night Football, or mm -hmm. as we saw earlier this year, Thursday. Any different feel going into the game? Um, a little, little bit. You just know that it's Monday. Obviously, everyone's watching. And you know it's a tough opponent. And so I say a little bit at the end of the day when the ball is snapped, it's still football time. You got to run and hit. But, but the lead up to the game is more media around it. And so you definitely feel those vibes. But overall, when the ball is snapped, it's go time. Definitely a different schedule, I imagine, too. Is that weird at all? Like, you have a routine? Go! I mean, I'm just awful. This is, this is the worst. Oh. I'm terrible. KJ is the best. <laughs> this is, this is pathetic. A new routine. Well, the thing is, we get an extra day. OK. And so. Does that help? It does help. It does help. Uh, extra and ice we, bath. And we got our bye week after a Monday. Yeah. When usually it's on a Sunday. Yeah. What's up with that? That is really weird. What's up with that? Yeah, would you would you prefer to have the bye week at a different point in the year? No, this is actually perfect. This is perfect. It's perfect. Like week was it week nine? Uh, yeah. That's pretty nine. good. See, it's better than like week four. Week yeah, it's three. weird. Sometimes these guys have the the bye week right in the middle of the year. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, KJ just destroyed me. Um, this yeah. was this was awful. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need an <laughs> ice bath after this one because this one oh. really hurts. Uh, he's KJ Wright. KJ, appreciate it, buddy. That was fun, man. This was a lot of fun. Uh, it. Good it. luck this week. Good luck against the 49ers. And mm -hmm. we'll see, maybe, if the, you guys can improve to 8-2. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you, man. Uh, no problem. All right.